Right, I got that. Where are they? New York. I'll call the plane. Try the cellulose. straight into intensive care. They still don't know if he's going to make it. Peter stabilized. He was resting quietly when we left. That's good. Where's Stone? Trying to get some more information from Traeger. Tell me about this Ali Gendi you turned over. He was a member of a Steve's group years ago and got out just after they bombed that jet of Scotland. If a Steve was involved, I doubt Ali Gendi can give us much on this hit. Well, get me Stone, will you? Well, hold on. Shouldn't have let him go alone. Nothing's routine when you're dealing with a guy like Hasif. He's plugged in everywhere. Look, we still don't know if Hasif was responsible. Let me tell you something. It wasn't a coincidence that Pete went down right after we brought the guy in whose testimony will convict Hasif of terrorism. Well, let's gather up the evidence and see where it takes us. Stone, Mr. Addington wants an update. Right. Well, you know how to get in touch. Mr. A. What did Traeger say? Not much. He went to check out his mug books on known associates of Hasif. He must have seen something. Not much to see. Hasif's cadre is probably no more than six trained terrorists. And only Hasif knows the men in his support groups. And he's in jail. Do you think they wanted to exchange him for Peter? Well, you can never tell with terrorists. Uh, well, whatever hit Peter didn't do what it was designed to do. Yeah, well, it came a little too close for my taste. We gotta find these clowns. Well, watch out for yourselves. What, you think we're next? They seem to know who we are. Well, the way I see it, we got two options here. Either we sit tight and wait for their next move, or we make ours. I can imagine your choice. Exactly. Police have called on federal authorities to help boost the security at the federal courthouse. This in preparation for the upcoming trial of accused terrorist bomber Aswan Hasif. Arrested by U.S. authorities last month, Hasif is charged with the bombing of Interair Flight 109 that went down over Scotland, killing all 215 passengers aboard. Meanwhile, federal prosecutors are denying any rumors about a surprise witness who is key to their case. Relatives of Why don't you turn that off, Dorit? I need that, that solution. Confidence that Hasif will be convicted. You can only make yourself crazy watching that stuff. They never mentioned the attack. <laughs> Do you really think they would? They're fools. Either they haven't diagnosed the symptoms yet, or they're trying to keep your attack quiet while they investigate. I just want to get this over with. Have a little patience, my dear. This caper has been very profitable. And it has brought us together. Beautiful, don't you think? Looking at our future with this little fluid, this will relieve the symptoms of the poison and reverse the process almost immediately. Mm. Can you be as positive that your target will capitulate? The intelligence from Tripoli has been very thorough. 
They're all so predictable. Almost two hours. You guys got some catching up to do. I'll be just outside the door. It feels like I was shot. The doctors pull a small dart from your neck. They're running tests on it now. You have any idea who did this, Pete? No. No, I was waiting for Traeger outside the courthouse. We were just going to go over the last details of our report. I had a real good look at that dart thing. Now, whoever wanted to nail you, Pete, had to do it at almost point-blank range. You remember anybody being unusually close to you? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. Try to remember. Yeah, there was somebody. There was a woman. She was wearing dark glasses. <laughs> Actually, she was quite pretty. I remember that. <laughs> this arrived for you a little while ago. Bomb boys had an x-ray peek at it. It's pulsing, but uh, apparently it's not going to explode. Who knows he's here? Supposedly no one. That's why I brought it in. I thought it might give us an idea of who does. Well, I love surprises. I didn't know anyone who cared. Go ahead. Yeah, lucky, lucky. really you. I hope not. You're running backwards. Yeah, it's some kind of timer. More surprises. which is infecting your bloodstream and nervous system. I know, because I delivered it personally. Remember? A small pinprick from behind. You went down like a load of bricks. You will be dead in less than 24 hours. I possess the only antidote. I offer you a simple exchange. Your life for the traitor Ali Candy. If you do not turn over Ali Gandhi before he can testify against Hasif, you will die. You will be contacted again with further instructions. Message ends. I need to know everything about Hasif, right down to the smallest detail. I'll give you everything our researchers have dug up. Sir, I think you should hear this for yourself. Yeah, look, look, I've got another call. I'll speak to you soon. 
Yes. This is Richard Shipley. I represent Aswar Hasif. My client has asked me to invite your news magazine to do an exclusive interview with him. Oh, why? I'm sorry, Mr. Addington. I can't explain my client's motives, just their actions. Oh, very well, but uh, on one condition, that you do it within the next 12 hours. I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Do. Call Mr. Moore and brief her. Yes, sir. I want the lab to run a full analysis, ASAP. Actually, Doctor, I'm not feeling so bad. Apart from the occasional dizzy spell. Doesn't surprise me. Your immune system has recovered from the initial shock, so for now, you should feel all right. Unfortunately, we have identified traces of at least a dozen toxic elements on the dart, and they will eventually wear you down. Now, if you have identified the toxins, surely you can make an antidote. Let me show you what we found on your last blood sample. All right, what we're looking at here is a compound poison. Now, the toxins are being carried in your bloodstream by microcapsules, and they're dissolving at timed intervals. And as each toxin is released, it bonds to the molecular chain of the others, radically altering the structure. See, it's, it's constantly mutating. To put it simply, we just can't keep up with the damn thing. You're telling me it's impossible to find an antidote? No, but there is only one chemist in the world who can make it quickly enough. The one who made the original poison. Now, I'd like you to stay here so we can keep you under observation. Uh, no, thank you, Doctor. Well, there's breath in this body and goes to work. And quite frankly, if I am going to die, I'm sure as hell not taking this thing lying down. I'm sure my readers are interested in uh, what it's like for you, the man at the heart of the struggle. I bear my burdens for the good of my people, Monsieur Mon. Well, tell me what it's like, being cut off from your friends, your family, your loved ones. I cannot deny that it is hard. Is there anyone special you miss in your life? Of course. Who? Monsieur Mon, that wouldn't be fair to her now, would it? Why not? She is a warrior. She's a terrorist? Our warriors can touch you and your people anywhere. Here? In this country? Right under your noses. Attending your universities, cooking your hamburgers, working in your hospitals, ready to strike without regret, without fear, without your pathetic compassion. That sounds heartless. Spoken like a soft, flabby woman of the West. That is the reason I had you brought here, Monsieur Mo. To let you know what you are up against. To let you know that we are resolved to win whatever the price. I thought this was just an interview. No, it is a warning. My warning to the world. My people will triumph. My people will triumph. It is only the forces of oppression that try to silence me. None too soon for my taste. Anybody ring a bell? I wish I could remember it, but it was such a fleeting glance, but I think she might be a candidate. And she did wear these sunglasses, but I'll try that one too. All right, now I'll cross-check these names against entrance visas. The woman we're looking for probably entered the country shortly after her thief was arrested. Yeah. Could have been a local girl, someone sympathetic to his cause. Well, the way Hasif was talking about her, I had the impression he knew her very well. Look, he's simply forcing us to deal with him. Right. So let's not play his game. Let's hit him where he lives, make him play our game. Here's our girl. Did you know her? No. I'll run it through the visa office. Am I talking to myself here? No, I heard what you said. And what you're thinking is right out of the question. Says who? I may not be team leader for much longer. But while I am, me. All right. Stanley? 
here. Where's the antidote? Ta-da! <laughs> Uh, you make all this craziness worthwhile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, move that pile of junk. Can, can you meet me at the university? Okay, you got it. Here, keep the change. Hey, hey, hey thanks, pal. Hey. This is Peter Sinclair, her husband, her ex-husband. Please have her call me. Is that urgent? Yeah. Yes, it is urgent. Yes, I'll tell I have made your choice to lie down and die, but I'm not ready. <sighs> no, you know exactly who I am. You can't deny me. I'm no hallucination. No. No, you're not real. Oh, so you think I'm some sort of chemical manifestation, do you? And I'm not. I am you. And I am fighting for my life. <laughs> do you think I want to die? Well, it certainly seems like it. <laughs> you should hear yourself talking to stuff. You and your capitalized virtues. Noble self-sacrifice. What the hell's that? Duty? Honor? Listen to me, dear boy. You're going to die for some half-cocked notion of doing what is right. While I, you, we haven't even lived yet. Get lost. Huh? Think I don't know what you're doing? Yeah. Putting your affairs in order in case you do not make it. Writing your bloody will. Calling home. Right now, you have to learn to live. And it is not about duty fulfilled, John Dunn. Is exactly what life's about. Yeah. Oh. oh well. You can see we're not going to get much further at the moment. Listen, she's probably the only one who can help our friend. Look, you're lucky I'm here, but I've really got to get going. It's an emergency. Okay, um, would you say her name was? Dorit Yasmina. The visa office said she's enrolled here. Dr. Ladner's lab. I think that's in the chemistry faculty. Is it Dr. Stanley Ladner? Yeah, she's his lab assistant. What, you know? Yeah, we got the right girl. Thank you. Appreciate it. the antidote. You sure? Positive. Tell me something about this guy. Anti-war activist, hippie, radical professor, and a war winning chemist. You think they could have made that stuff here? Oh, absolutely. He's a genius in his field. 
I think we just found our Mr. Einstein. Sunday. You will not miss a thing. Hollywood is finally coming together, just in time for the big one. Join host Ryan Seacrest with Juliana Rancic for Hollywood's most anticipated event. Ease live from the red carpet at the Academy Awards. All day coverage Sunday, only on E! Compelling, clear, insightful. Canada's most watched anchor, Kevin Newman, Global National. News understood. The 70s and 80s were the golden era of soft rock. Every time you turned on the radio, you heard incredible hits, songs with a laid-back sound. Time Life presents the complete 10-CD classic soft rock collection. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good. You'll get incredible hits by all the legends. The Doobie Brothers, America, Air Supply, Elton John, Chicago, Rod Stewart, and Hall and Oates. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, I, oh, I, I better learn how to face it. She's gone, she's gone. Oh, I, if you like Pina Coladas. And now you can preview the entire classic soft rock collection in your home for 30 days for just $9.95. But wait, be one of the first 500 callers to order with your credit card and get free shipping and handling. And there's more. Call in the next 10 minutes with your credit card and get a bonus collection full of the best hits of 1977. So order now with your credit card and enjoy all 11 CDs in your home. You can preview all 168 hits in the classic soft rock collection for 30 days for just $9.95. You're going to love Time Life's classic soft rock collection. There's never been anything like it. And remember, if this isn't the best collection you've ever heard, simply send it back and owe nothing more. But keep the bonus album. It's our way of saying thanks. Call 1-800-731-5519 to preview the classic soft rock 10 CD collection for 30 days for $9.95 when you use your credit card. Or order online at timelife.ca. Of course, most of the men had to go off to war. So the Schneider's plant started hiring women, and that's when I started there. The first thing I was told was that if something wasn't good enough to be served to your family, then it didn't go out of the plant. That was the golden rule, plain and simple. At Schneider's, we're still committed to the same high standards in everything we make. Because after all... You can taste the difference quality makes. Our people are analyzing uh, the chemical formulas we found in Ladner's lab, so take it easy, Peter. It's only a matter of time. That's exactly my concern, sir. What about this girl, Dorit? When she surfaces, it'll be on her own terms. Uh, all right, all right. I'll get back to you. Thank you. Pete, look, I know what you're going to say, but forget it. No way are we going to strike a deal. Come on, Pete. Let me snatch Allegindi back. We trade him for the antidote, and then grab him back from the Libyans. Go kill him the minute they lay hands on him. No. Hey, come on, just trust me. No, it's not a matter of trust. It's too damn risky. We're sticking to our present plan. All right. Marvelous. Absolutely bloody marvelous. You and the boss still on the case, are you? What do you want me to do? Huh? Give up? No. Stop being so predictable. Stop doing things by the book. You know, that's your problem. Anything that makes you feel and slam goes the door. Let Stone do what he wants. Why don't you just flit back to whatever particular netherworld you inhabit and leave me to get on with what I have to do? But that is precisely my purpose. What you have to do is learn to change. Because right now it's down to the three of us, you, me, and the Reaper, and he's winning. 
Oh, do stop this. No, you stop this. Let me tell you. You've lived a life of calculation, intellect, cool judgment. Surrounded by meaningless relationships, a disastrous marriage, and millions of times when you never said or acted out what you felt. And what exactly do you represent? Me? Passions. Dreams. Caring. Letting loose, getting down, being real. In a word, emotion. Oh, come on. You can't expect me to change just like that. Au contraire, laddie. You can and you must. You have to forget about doing the right thing. You have to trade our life for Allegendi. That's impossible. We've gone to great lengths to get him to testify against Hasif. He is far too important to give up. It's him or us. Why don't you just get the hell out of here and leave me to do what I do best? Ha! Huh. That's better. Because now you're fighting me. And I know you believe me. Somehow, deep down inside, you believe me, and that's the start. I said, get out! <laughs> What happened? It's nothing. Who are you talking to? Huh? Myself. I missed something? Guess not. Sinclair. I hope you're taping this. I will not repeat it. On the Palisades Parkway, exactly one mile from the George Washington Bridge toll booth, there's a jogging path 23 yards from the road. 10 yards further along that path, there's a small clump of blackberry bushes. Bring Ali Gandhi there at exactly 9.30 in the morning. If I see the police, if you try anything, you will never get the antidote. We're not gonna play your game. That's your problem. Deliver him, or this will be your last night. Nothing is out of the question. I'm trying to save Sinclair's life. I respect what you're trying to do, Mr. Addington, but I have a responsibility, too. Over 200 families suffered at the hands of Hasif. Ali Gendi's testimony is all that stands between him and the street. Well, who brought you, Ali Gendi? I know. I know. Peter Sinclair, but... I still can't authorize putting my witness at any more risk than he already is. Well, if you can't, I can. Expect a call from the National Security Advisor. Yes, sir. I'll talk to my superiors. You damn straight! It's Gabrielle. They, they took Peter to the hospital. He collapsed. He's unconscious. The toxic buildup is infecting his autonomic nervous system. Breathing, reflexes, eyesight, balance. All the functions we don't usually think about are starting to shut down. So why don't you do something about it? There's nothing we can do, unless that antidote gets here. Six hours left. All right. Stick with Pete. I'll call you later. There's uh, something that I want you to know.
Give us a kiss. <laughs> you see, you are willing to loosen up. If you get a really good fantasy going. That's a key in the lock. Or is that too Freudian for you? What kind of nonsense is that? You may recall that our last lesson was on the subject of emotion. I kept telling you how you hadn't lived, and you kept telling me how you knew what was important. So what's happened here? If you had left Alexander Addington a week ago, you wouldn't be lying there now with a time bomb ticking away inside you. What's important is knowing what to live for and what to die for. Oh, yes, of course. Fix bayonets, chaps. Prepare to die like British soldiers. Right here, Pip Pip. Good luck. You are so pitiful. You know, you and Hasif, you're just different sides of the same coin. You're both fanatics. I'm not a terrorist. I don't murder innocents. It's all relative, laddie. Your rationale leads to death and destruction, too. Seventeen years of Biden book police work. You and Addington. Have you checked your body count lately? Damn it. You have to choose a side. Some sides are worse than others. Always choosing, always choices, never feelings. How about choice by emotion? <laughs> it's not what's important. Oh, yes, it is. One perfect sunset is worth more than your whole fine career, laddie. One love is more important. I have loved. And I am passionate about what I do. <laughs> oh, you think you're passionate. But you are angry. We're getting somewhere. Bye. I heard you talking again. You all right? My imagination seems to be working over time. You afraid? So am I. Sorry. <sighs> Stone not took it. Where is he? He's trying to get Ali Gandhi to come to the park, isn't he? Yes. Peter. Please. Let me have your phone. Dr. Shim, emergency code blue. Dr. Shim, emergency code blue. <laughs> Working late, Traeger? Stone, what? Addington send you here? No, this is personal. Four hours left. That's what Pete's got. I can't do anything about it. Yes, you can. You and me, we're gonna do it together. Let's go. You're crazy. I know. Put your hands down. Open the door. Get in. You drive. Talk on the way. Time to breathe. From the best movies. Forget about it. 
every day on Lone Star Cinema. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Kelsey's. Cheers to good food. Precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, help me stand, I'm tired. Take my hand, precious Lord, and lead me on. You can take a child's hand right now. Please call and reach out to a child in desperate need. You can bring hope to a girl like Raina, who sifts through garbage all day just to survive. Precious Lord, take my hand. You can help an orphan like a Seiza, whose mother and father died of AIDS. I'm tired. You can save the life of a child like Safi, who is nine years old and weighs only 31 pounds. Through the storm, through the night. All it takes is about a dollar a day. Call now for the photo and story of a child you can help. Precious Lord, Don't put it off, because every moment matters to the child who's waiting for you. Please call World Vision and sponsor a child today. Change a life. Change your own. There, guys, right? That's enough! Right, you watch that cowboy next to you, boss man. Keep an eye on him. On the eve of the long-awaited trial of accused terrorist Aswan Hasif, Justice Department officials confirmed rumors that an important prosecution witness was kidnapped this morning in a daring raid on a government safe house. For additional details, we take you to the scene. Peter Sinclair, world-famous hero who captured Hassi's principal accuser, Ali Gendi, today lost his battle against a silent killer that terrorists introduced into his much sought-after body. You're dreaming again, laddie. It'll never happen. If they mention you at all, here's how it'll run. Peter Sinclair, pretty average nobody, died today. He was 40 years of age, going on 70. Uh -oh. less than two hours to live and in the overall grand scheme of things I've done nothing with my life is that what you want to hear does that make you happy <laughs> there you go finally a real show of emotion what a pleasant surprise <sighs> why should it surprise you to know that I'm afraid to die it doesn't but are you willing to admit that you've been passionless Afraid to live? I have lived. My life hasn't been meaningless. I've done some good. So that's to be your epitaph, is it? I've 
done some good. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Nothing wrong, perhaps. Just rather pathetic. All right, I'm willing to admit there are many things in my life I wish I'd done. Oh, go on, dear boy. Go on, don't choke now. Damn it, I want to live! Can you hear me? Stone cold. Is that? He's got Ali Gandhi. Uh, trust stone. Peter, you've got to get up. We only have an hour. There's plenty of time. No, not to get to the park. The park? Huh. Then what are we waiting for? Huh. Get up. Gandhi. Give us the antidote. He's dying. Can't you see? I want to see Ali Gandhi now. Is this what you want? Drop it. More games. You're already running out of time. Get in the van, traitor. You'll get the antidote after we're safely gone. You mean after you've killed him? What happens to him is none of your concern. He betrayed our struggle. But what happens to Sinclair matters a great deal. Isn't that true, Mr. Stone? You acted true to form, Mr. Stone. You know a lot about me. We do. We counted on the fact that you would go to any lengths to help a friend, no matter how extreme or crazy. If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened. You made it all possible. See crazy lady? I'll give you crazy. You're bluffing. You know a lot about me. You know I'm not the kind of guy who bluffs. Tell you what you do. You pick one. Go ahead, pick any of them.
time left. Where's the antidote? <laughs> Let me go. I'll, I'll give it to you. Don't work that way. Antidote first. I'm afraid that's entirely dependent on Mr. Sinclair and his metabolism. Right now, he's running the race of his life. Pete, come on, Pete, let's go. Get it going, buddy, get it going. How are we going now? Am I dead? No, you made it, my friend. Frankly, I had my doubts. Did I make it back because of you? No. No, I just opened one of the doors. Made you look at a few things. Promise me one thing. What is taking him so long? Stone's done this before in half the time. It's been only 15 minutes, sir. He has to work around the hospital system. But, but, but what's the report? I mean, how's Peter? I'm feeling a lot better, thank you, sir. Oh, and Bennett. Thanks very much. <laughs> Mr. Stone, it seems to have taken you longer to uh, set up this call than to borrow Ali Gendy. More of a challenge, I guess. Yes, but I do think... Uh, we could have got him through regular channels with less at stake. Like your life. Well, I didn't think we had that much time. Uh, for, for my information, uh, Mr. Stone, uh, those grenades, uh, they weren't real, were they? I was wondering the same thing. Well, you know, a good poker player never tells you whether he's bluffing. Bon voyage. Think out. Well... Let's get out of here. You tell them you're ready? Yeah. You don't want it? No. Bluffing, huh? Why do I have this feeling I don't want to know? Well, I'll tell you, Pete. You don't. One way or another, we must all face the dark side of ourselves so we can get out of it in order to better see the light. Mm -hmm. 